they're okay with you being a, a mitti ka gada to be very honest uh-huh. dekho at the end of the day uh, the school management is not going to stop you if you are doing something productive so hello everyone today we have jayesh here hum ek aaj basic to basic details mein jane wale hain about studying abroad from state board in india or cbse board in india ek ek detail cover karenge because jayesh comes from a school where not a single student had स्टडीड अब्रॉड स्पेशली इन द यूएस किसी को नहीं पता था यूएस के यूएस में काउंसिलर कौन होता है जब आप अप्लाई करते हो हाउ टू फिल लेटर्स ऑफ रिकमेंडेशन एवरी थिंग ही हैड टू डू फ्रॉम स्क्रैच टीच हिज टीचर्स इन स्कूल टीच हिज प्रिंसिपल इन स्कूल की ये सारा प्रोसेस कैसे करते हैं एंड लेट्स गेट स्टार्ट विद डिटेल्स सो हाई जयश कैन यू प्लीज शेयर लिल बिट अबाउट योर बैकग्राउंड वाई यू वॉन्टेड टू स्टडी अब्रॉड एंड वेर यू कम फ्रॉम फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल थैंक यू सो मच फॉर हैविंग मी अरूर भैया और channel has been a constant source of inspiration for almost every indian and south asian student applying to the us uh, and yeah uh, yeah to be very honest i one of your videos popped up on my youtube recommendation a couple of years ago and that is what motivated me to apply abroad and yeah moving on to my introduction uh, hi everyone my name is jayesh i come from a family of four we live in jaipur but my father works for the indian railway so i've lived all across I've lived in Ratlam. I was born in Mumbai. I've lived lived in Baroda. Talking about my school, my school is although we're very 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 we're a very established institution here in Jaipur. I come from Bhavan Siddhi Ashram. We don't usually send out students abroad, especially not to Ivy Leagues and uh, the top colleges in the US. Our school does not have a designated counselor for applying abroad. Our school produces some fantastic results for IITs and NEET, but there's not not much awareness about applying abroad into the US uh, in our school. Uh, talking about my extra curriculars i am an uh, avid manner i like to call myself an entrepreneur and i am a speed skater who represented team india at the asian games that's about it all yeah that is very impressive that's very humble of you to say but when you when we will see what you have achieved including mm-hmm. your photo and opportunity to be with prime minister narendra modi it is very very inspiring now getting into the details of applying abroad so when you were applying can you share what challenges you had to face to aapke school se kisi ne pehle koi koi bahar nahi gaya so you know like discussing the problems of which exams to take discussing the problems of how to prepare the application discussing the problems of making letters of recommendation how you prepared yourself for that Okay yeah so a slight correction over there yes there are students who go abroad from our school matlab i come from a school let's say for instance uh, in my class we have about 300 students usme se we have one to two students will be going abroad and not to the us we have students going to australia this year one to uk uh, but no one to the ivs and to the, to the t20s in the us and the issue behind that is yes there are students a couple of students who apply every every year but uh, most of them get rejected because of the very hard process and the holistic process which requires the support of almost everyone from our school Absolutely. so i got the opportunity to become the head of the student council this year and as i really wanted to apply abroad i kept poking my principal and the management to create our school zone common app account then uh, help students know about the sat these standardized tests and all about it so of those who don't know common app is the application portal where you yeah. apply to many universities including i i believe common app is basically common application so yeah sorry to interrupt yeah adding to what he just said so to make the process uh, more streamlined for students applying abroad uh, there's this uh, website called the common app jidhar se you can apply to all colleges in the us ek sath most of the colleges are listed over there but uh, yeah it's a really good platform and you should be aware about it if you're going to apply abroad talking about some more difficulties i faced uh, see the issue is that if you come from a cbsc school uh, i don't think that there's a difference or it's uh, a drawback per se when applying abroad when you come from a cbsc school uh, school boards are just the curriculum just different curriculums and you should go in a school which is uh, the best fit for you and you should not go to an ib school or an igcs school just for the sake of going abroad it does not in any way benefit you uh, the difference is that when you're studying in a cbsc school almost everyone is talking about studying for the je exam studying for the ait studying studying for the neat exam and uh there's not not much talk about extra curriculars founding startups and uh, starting with their own non profits and all of that so yeah awareness is a really really big factor here when i reached out to my teachers for my letters of recommendation most of them don't know about the format that we need when applying to the us so i had to 
uh, help my teachers uh, and my teachers were very very supportive with it my teachers my principal they've been with me like the rock of gibraltar all around so yeah uh, coming from a cbse school uh, it's it's not a, a drawback to be very honest it's just, just that there's not much awareness about it plus uh, on top of handling your standardized test scores your essays your extra curriculars you also have to keep negotiating and taking care of the process with respect to your school and the college so it, it's a little bit uh, of an additional headache but it's all worth it if you end up getting into a good college absolutely and now uh, talking about the hardships so when you were preparing your principal kafi bachcho ko na principal ko prepare karna nahi aata so can you share how you prepared your principal to create a common app account kitna difficult tha okay so uh, as i became, became the head boy for our school i i had actually gotten very close to the management and to my principal so uh, it was comparatively easier for me to uh, ask for such favors but uh, ultimately i i put out in put out this message in front of the entire management that yes uh, if not today after 5 years from now there'll be tons of more students will be applying to the us so these two school will have to at one point have a common app account and a process of students applying abroad and yes this is happening today after i got an admission into dartmouth uh, there are tons of students who have been reaching out to me from our school ki ha ji i also want to apply could you share some tips and all of that so yes now our school also has a designated person a teacher who's helping our students with all of this so yeah if you go out, reach out to your management and to your principal or vice principal uh, see this is ultimately going to benefit the school and the school the students so there's no harm in reaching out to your principal and asking for a favor like this it's all, it's going to help the both of you so yeah now as a cbse student we don't have any set time ek semester khatam hota hai dusra shuru ho jata hai you don't have a dedicated time oh two months for sat preparation two months for toefl two months for act whatever exams you want to take and people take it three four times so how did you find time and how did you manage to take all of these exams okay so i had decided in my at the end of my 11th grade that i was going to apply abroad so i did not have much time for it so when i registered for my sat uh, it was actually in between my pre board exams so i had my physics pre board uh, if i remember correctly a couple of days after my sat so yeah it, it's something which is which could be considered a drawback when you're applying as a cbsc or a state board student uh, for my for my friends who are in the ib curriculum they knew ki ha we had to apply abroad they, they started preparing for it back in their 10th grade to aram se 10th 11th mein giving multiple attempts they had uh, a lot of time with them but cbsc ke andar cbsc ke andar you don't get that liberty so i had to manage both of my school studies and my uh, preparation for my standardized tests also for my ielts exam and sab ko manage kar ke i had to go through it but if you're very good with your cbsc and your school curriculum your school syllabus the sat is not a very difficult exam to crack you just need to uh, understand the format of the test it is a standardized test at the end of the day just give at least 10 to 15 practice tests uh, sit in a test environment sit to the timer and don't keep roaming around in between and yeah if you're good with your cbse syllabus you'll you're more than set for your sat test wonderful that i did the same i remember like 6 years ago when i was sitting in my bedroom i just took like you know 4 hours every day 4 hours to take one sat exam was good enough just make a timer 4 hours sit in one place and you are all set to take the sat exam and like it's it's not as difficult because aapko breaks bhi milti hai 10 10 minutes ki breaks it is it is like a marathon you're running because 4 hours it is longer than your cbsc board exams but it is little bit uh, more convenient because 10 minutes mein aap fruit khane ja sakte ho i really enjoyed taking it honestly yeah definitely cbse board exam ke andar you have to sit at a dedicated place for 3 3 and a half hours pura paper likhne mein no breaks and to my surprise when i went for my sat test we had a uh, lunch ka chota sa break 5 10 minutes mein you can go out and have something then we had a washroom break and the invigilator she was announcing everything matlab everything from our from our calculator policies to even mentioning ki idhar mudna allowed nahi and cbse mein you don't get uh, all of this liberty and help so uh, yeah it's marathon as you mentioned uh, and if you're very well prepared for it you have to answer a, you have to answer lots of questions in a very short span of time so you should prepare uh, with a lot of effort for it but it's not difficult there are very simple questions matlab for for the math section uh, the sat syllabus consists of questions we read 
back in our 10th and 9th grade so correct if you prepare very well for it, it it's an easy exam absolutely so now let's talk about grades mane jata hai for these top 20 schools you have to get like 85% at least you know your if you don't have good grades they will not even open your application so how did you prepare yourself what were your grades from 9th to 12th if you feel comfortable yeah definitely so i i agree with your point ki you should have a certain amount of uh, percentage when you are applying abroad but yeah your grades are only your foot in the door when applying to these universities after they have a look at your grades and their then they're more than sufficient they move on to the more important parts of your application your essays your extra curriculars so talking about my grades i had a 95% score all across high school i had a 96.2 in my 10th grade board exams and a similar score throughout for my subjects i had a pcm along with economics in my 11th and 12th Uh, that would be physics chemistry maths english and economics in my 11th and 12th grade these were the same subjects i gave my board exam with but yeah talking about grades i believe you should have at least 85 to 90% when applying abroad and don't worry if you don't have such a score in your 9th or 10th grade if you improve on it and if you get a similar score in your 11th and 12th board exams this shows that you have worked for it and you're you're more than prepared for college so yeah uh, an upward growth trend in your grades or a consistent score of 90 90 plus is definitely more than enough in applying to these top colleges wonderful so itna darne ki baat nahi hai like if you don't get exact but you know you need to have high scores and students should know when they apply in 12th their 12th result is not out and i have actually linked like you know my predicted report card in the description like i have actually uploaded all in my on my website as well so basically like you need your predicted score in which you write oh based on 9th 10th 11th score you need predicted yeah. score of 12th that actually shows the university that how much aapke 12th mein aa sakte hain your predicted score for 12th yeah. and that's what they consider Yeah, so that actually happens with us because here in India, our final board exams uh, usually happen in March, and when you're applying abroad, your deadline is for early decisions. It is October, and for regular decisions, it is it is December. So you have to request your teachers and your school management for this, and on the basis of your ninth, tenth, eleventh uh, grades, they put up a uh, score of uh, which you call the predicted score grade sheet. You you attach that along with your transcript. Yes. Yeah. absolutely right and now finally your activities and your academics which are very very powerful it is i think looking at jayesh extracurriculars you will think that it's 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 like you know one in a million but we're going to know how anyone can make it possible so let's go through your extracurriculars one by one number one you're founder of your own startup called kalpurze right yeah so can you tell us how how you got the idea and how you made it possible okay so kalpurze basically combines everything that i like so it all started uh, when i was a delegate at hman conference the harvard modeling and nations conference here in india they run this uh, thing he called the impact initiative where they ask us to create uh, ventures and startups based on sdgs and something that could have a, an everlasting impact on the citizen uh, of the country that you are a part of so yeah uh, kalpurze combines my love for economics tech and sustainability uh, and this combines almost all the other extra curriculars i have ever done talking about tech i i'm a huge uh, guy who's interested in uh, science and tech i was uh, a part of the 30 student class group who took pcm in our 12th grade out of the 300 students other than that uh, Uh, sustainability yeah after doing 40 50 mnns throughout high school and being a part of the unhrc committee almost every other time talking about sustainability is something that i could do for hours and hours and yeah uh, and economics so kalpurze combines all of this for me after uh, start after i started working on it in my 10th grade i took my brother on board i have a younger brother who's in the 10th grade he's very good with handling the tech side of our startup he took care of the website the social media hands and all of that while i acted as the ceo and yes soon we got incubated with the government at acic which is the atal communication and innovation center it is run by the government under aim that is the atal innovation mission by the government of india so what they're doing is they're helping entrepreneurs all across the country this is not something that is specifically meant for high school students but they're helping almost everyone who's hoping to build a startup who has a good idea with them and if if you approach them with it they they'll be more than happy to help you with not just funding 
but uh, also helping you throughout the entire process with legal proceedings and even uh, going for various events talking about such events i last year i got the opportunity to be invited to the center state science conclave uh, where i was the only school student i all the other participants were from iits and iams there i got the opportunity to meet the honorable uh, home minister shri amit shah i got the opportunity to pitch my startup in front of him and just last month uh, in the national tech fest i got the opportunity again to show my startup to the honorable prime minister and a couple of other uh, cabinet minister namely the education minister the defense minister and it was a wonderful uh, opportunity to be very honest uh, i never dreamt of doing all of this if you would have asked jayesh a year ago ki he'll reach this a particular milestone with a startup i would not have believed you but yeah it's been calling all of this a roller coaster journey would be an understatement to be very honest especially when i come from a school where not everyone is talking about building startups and such stuff but i had very supportive parents throughout my mother is an architect but she was more than ready to help me with it at all times uh, and yeah <laughs> that would be all <laughs> that is very very inspiring basically it's all started from your passion reg- regarding sustainable material right currently what you do you s- for these indian craft jo indian vernacular crafts and you have uh, uh, pottery you have uh, then uh, what do you call it uh, the handloom uh, building for cloths and is sab ke andar inke jo vernacular crafts ke jo equipment hote hain namely the handloom the pottery machine inhi sab ko sustainable materials mein banate hain and we're helping them with it by giving them this particular machine at a cheaper rate Hmm. very nice very very impressive and aapka passion tha i remember hamare school mein bhi pottery club tha and you got the passion from your school and then you converted it to a reality and business if you look at other activities of jayesh aapko dekhne ko milega he is into speed skating he is into mums and he is into debating he went to national level for debating all of these opportunities you might think ki yaar har ek insaan ko school mein mil jati hai they are spoon fed and they just do it but it is about initiative and jayesh is going to show you how he created opportunities instead of just using them so can you please share what opportunities you created and how you took the initiative yeah okay so yeah uh, as you just mentioned so initiative was a particular word that was mentioned throughout my application in my lors in my essays in my extra curriculars and i think this was something that resonated throughout my profile and it should have struck a word with the admission officer who was reading my profile and yeah so talking about initiative uh, we went with the idea to launch our own schools uh, mu and club along with some of my seniors back in my 11th grade then uh, organizing such an such a big model un event of 800 plus participants particularly from a conservative school like bhavan vidya ashram here in jaipur it was not something that anyone else expected but then going another step with it you know managing a budget of 25 to 30 lakh rupees at the age of 17 and 16 along with the other members of my secretariat they uh, go at the end of the day uh, the school management is not going to stop you if you are doing something productive and especially not if you're taking up an initiative which is going to help more students uh, talking about my startup talking about uh, the bhavans vidya ashram conference talking about the school's mu and club talking about uh, the quizzes and other events i've organized in school all of these were initiatives that i took along with the rest of my student council and yeah no teacher no principal is ever going to stop you know no, none of your parents are going to stop you if you are doing something that is productive and is going to help more people out so yeah uh, try and uh, try taking initiative uh, with anything and uh, everything that's possible throughout high school high school is a wonderful time to be very honest your parents are supporting you financially and uh, you have friends all the time around so even if you take up an activity like this uh, having your friends around with you could also make it fun and a learning experience so uh, yeah that would be all uh, wonderful now before we move on to the next big step it's essays let's start to talk about the scholarship because jayesh got 100% financial aid at dartmouth in fact he applied to ucs many people think ucs doesn't doesn't give financial aid they don't but he got an opportunity from jaipur from uh, rajasthan's government so can you please elaborate both the scholarships and opportunities you got and how it happened okay uh, so firstly i'll talk about dartmouth uh, there are six need blind colleges in the us for internationals last i checked uh, namely harvard mit princeton yale dartmouth and amherst so 
these are the uh, six colleges that most of the indian internationals apply to because they give out scholarships to international students without even looking at their financial situation so due to this particular condition almost everyone i told, told that i'll be applying to dartmouth early decision uh, recommended me not to do it because dartmouth had become need blind this particular uh, admission cycle so everyone was expecting tons of more students to apply to dartmouth just because they might get a scholarship but that did not stop me because i knew ki ultimately dartmouth is a very very good fit for me and i would thrive in an environment that dartmouth provides but yeah dartmouth is a need blind school there are six need blind schools in the us that i just mentioned other than that there are need aware schools in the us uh, you have the other ivies namely cornell columbia Uh, then you have stanford so yes. these are schools that cover all of your financial needs they'll give you the scholarship and the financial aid for it but they'll have a look at your financials before and and uh, applying to a need aware school and asking for tons of scholarship could be a drawback but that is not the case in applying to a need blind college but uh, due to this particular region reason need blind colleges have an exponentially higher exponentially lower acceptance rate so that's something you should keep in mind uh talking about the other opportunity i got uh, i also got into uc berkeley uh, right. and some other ucs uh, but i got in d- during the reg- regular decision cycle because i had not finalized my financial aid package with dartmouth so yeah uh, dekho if you end up getting into a very good university like uc berkeley a university which is one of the top colleges not just in the us but all across the world there'll be tons of organizations who would love to help you out with your finances so uh, if i remember correctly the there's a tata scholarship run by the tata group for students applying to cornell similarly there's uh, this rajiv gandhi scholarship that the rajasthan government is running and there are tons of organizations in delhi mumbai gurgaon who will help such students out that who, who have gotten into a very very good college abroad and they need help with their financial so don't ever worry about it if you believe that you have the capacity to get into a very good college in the us they'll be always someone to help you out with it and even if you don't get a scholarship uh, the return on investment that that the term people use ki even if you pay an amount of 2 to 3 crores for education in the us at a top college like this you learn an amount close to this just 5 to 6 years after graduation so that's also something you should keep in mind uh, when applying abroad yeah absolutely very well said and i totally agree but i mean i i would just argue that 2 to 3 crore financial burden is not worth it if you cannot afford yeah. just afford if yeah, you yeah definitely otherwise definitely. don't go uh, uh, no, no no don't <laughs> ever put a strain on your parents's budget and their finances you do not want to go to the us and have the best time of your life while your uh, parents and your family is having problems over here don't ever do it if it is within your budget if your parents are comfortable with it only then it is a worthwhile investment other than that don't ever go for it absolutely now finally let's go through your essay so can you please give us step by step guide how do you did you go through common app essay all the essays were basically similar uc berkeley and your common app it's basically your story how your passion it could be let's say your passion for your startup is actually inclining towards the goal of the university and making you the best fit for that university so how did you shape that as yeah okay so dekho essays are simply just for narrating your story and telling the admissions officer ki ha if i'm in that college for my four years of education i'll be a good asset to the college to the student and to the environment over there ki if you take me in i'll enrich the experience of not just the uh, college and the faculty but of my colleagues around me so you just have to portray that through your essay and plus it essay should be very very authentic i don't trust in consultancies and other people proofreading your essays a hundreds of times and then making changes to it because at the end of it it becomes a very very good piece of writing you don't want a very good piece of writing you want a very good piece of you your own self <laughs> to be very honest my common app essay had some spelling errors after i submitted it so and i surprisingly got in because dekho i had no consultancy to check pura with me uh, i submitted at 5 in the night and my mother just read it for me ki ha there were no errors but ha it the end ke andar so don't ever worry about your essay being pitch perfect they don't expect 17 18 year olds to write a pitch perfect essay you're not supposed to be very very mature you're not supposed to sound very very mature they're okay with you being a, a mitti ka gada to be very honest <laughs> you have to be 
very very passionate about something and that should convey through your essay plus it should be very very authentic uh, taking an example which i have told many students about it my uh, supplemental essay for dartmouth which straight away just said ki introduce yourself was about both of my parents so my name is jayesh and it's a combination of both of my parents name jagdish and shweta so everyone on my parental uh, everyone on my father's side of the family is into tech and science my bua is a doctor my father is an engineer well everyone on my mother's side is into business and uh, hotel management and economics so uske uh, andar i mentioned ki how jayesh means victorious and i can only be victorious if i'm a true combination of jagdish and shweta and that's what i'm hoping to perceive at dart with engineering modified to the economics so ha huh, try to be very very real in your essay don't try to be fake don't try to be someone else and don't get it checked by hundreds of people bas submit kar do if you feel it's good for you wow that's a beautiful story kai log jo aapne story bataya it's a very simplified story inspired from your mom and dad and kafi log kya karte hain mera startup ne mujhe transform kiya my business meeting from from uh, harvard transformed me and my summer school at yale transformed me they try to throw complicated stories but at the end of the day they want you to be you as you said and it's a beautifully crafted simple story and which makes you unique and how did you add on to your passion like apne bataya like your engineering how did you show more passion into engineering and economics can you elaborate in your essay in that in your essay फॉर माई कॉमन ऐप ऐसे इट्स वॉट आई रिट फॉर माई कॉम माई कॉमन ऐप ऐसे वॉज अबाउट माई स्टार्टअप एंड जस्ट एज आई मैंशन बिफोर माई स्टार्टअप कम्बाइंस एवरी थिंग दैट आई लव एंड कॉमन ऐप एज अ प्रॉम वेर यूर मैंशन वेर यूर सपोज टू मैंशन अ मोमेंट ऑफ रियलाइजेशन कि जो थर यू रियलाइज समथिंग इम्पॉर्टेंट इन लाइफ और समथिंग लाइक दैट आई डोंट रिमेंबर द एग्जैक्ट प्रॉम बट उसके अंदर आई मैंशन हाउ एवरी थिंग दैट आई एवर लव एवरी क्लास आई एवर टेक इन motivated me to found this startup and then ultimately work for it and how i realized that uh, tech and sustainability is the answer to the future and my concluding line it was very very cliched but it mentioned how me being on campus could help that uh, be the bigger green ah. and something like that i don't remember the exact phrase but uh, big green uh, Yeah, so I don't remember the exact phrase, but uh, big green is a term used to refer to Dartmouth. So, what cliche it's ending that, but I loved it at four a.m. in the night, just before the uh, deadline, and I submitted it right away, and it worked. Very nice. It's a beautiful story. I'm really inspired, and this shows being the true yourself, being the real you, and uh, like you don't have to like change the same essay ten times, but get five unique stories and see which. story resonates more to the university and then finalize it's all, it's about different takes as compared to fixing the same take right wonderful yeah thank you so much jayesh it was wonderful talking to you i hope this video adds value to all the students means a lot thank you yeah uh, thank you so much thank you so much 